blown away by people's kindness and everyone's prayers and messages throughout the week and today I just posted this on Instagram with the photo of the pregnancy test I just can't believe it it's quite surreal at the moment if you haven't read my Instagram post this last week has just been an absolute roller coaster and whirlwind of emotions. So our official blood test was scheduled for Tuesday this week. At seven days past a five day transfer, Liv decided to take a pregnancy test and it was totally negative. No hint of a second line whatsoever. At seven days past five day transfer, that was quite discouraging. She did her bloods on that same day just to check progesterone and we checked the HCG as well and that was only at three. She then did a home pregnancy test on the Saturday and the Sunday and there were total negatives as well. And so the whole weekend hope was fading really fast. I had a major meltdown on Friday night. All day Friday I seemed to hold it together even though hope was fading and then the smallest thing tipped me over the edge and I was a mess, sobbing, crying. Clearly it wasn't about the little thing that had happened. Tim and I had some very, oh, probably the most difficult conversation I've ever had in my life about what we do if surrogacy doesn't work for us. Tim basically just said he's done six years of infertility and loss takes its toll and I totally understand but it was really hard for me to hear he wouldn't be open to embryo adoption or sperm donor it could just be how he feels in the moment because I get it it's just draining six years of constant failures there's a lot of trauma that comes with that. We feel stagnant in life. We feel like we're stuck in this chapter that we just can't get out of. We started IVF in 2016. We've had so many miscarriages, so many things just not go right, so many failures. And I totally get where he's coming from. It was just really devastating for me to hear that from him because becoming a mother is all I've ever wanted and I can't imagine my life without children and I don't want to imagine my life without children and I just my heart physically aches for anyone who has to do come to terms with that reality and make peace with that so that is what the weekend looked like. I don't think I ever felt that defeated. I don't think either of us have. On Monday I went over to drop off some flowers to Liv and she told me that she had done a pregnancy test that morning and there was a faint line. So that was an indicator that HCG was rising. We didn't know how much. She had also done a blood test that morning as well. Then Liv gave me a call at about 6 to let me know that the HCG had gone from 3 to 27 in 3 days. So that's a pretty good rise. The next day on Tuesday, which was 11 days past 5 day transfer, she did another pregnancy test and it was a lot darker than the day before. So that gave me a little boost of hope. 
on Wednesday at 12 days past five day transfer, Liv went in for another blood test and the clinic told us they want it to be over 60 at that point. I was visualizing triple digits and something high, but for it to go from 27 to triple digits, it wasn't likely, but I was trying to visualize a highish number, at least over 60. So yeah, Liv got her bloods drawn at 8 a.m. on Wednesday morning. We were hoping to hear from the clinic at around four o'clock in the afternoon. It was a long day. Five o'clock rolled round and Liv called the clinic and they told her that the results were pending. They hadn't come through yet and that they would call us once they did. So after a full day of staring at our phones and just waiting for the call to come through, we realized we weren't going to find out that day. The next day at 8 30, Liv called the clinic and they told her that the results were still pending and that they would call. The anxiety was eating me alive. I could feel my heart pounding. I was trying to breathe and relax and stay distracted, but just the build up. By that stage, Liv had done the blood test over 24 hours prior, so it was just a long wait. It felt like forever. We didn't get the results until after 12, but thankfully it was good news. So the level today, um is good, so it's risen up to 76. Yes, okay. okay. So that's really good. This is the hard part, this stage. Yeah, now. it is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you all that extra work, and now we're getting up to here. So, yep. so far, okay. so good. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. <gasps> you know. <laughs> did they call you? Yes, they did finally. Oh, good. So good. Oh, my goodness. I know. What a long... <laughs> oh my gosh. The anxiety. Okay, well that's good. It is. Yeah. The HCG had risen to 76 and her progesterone was 77, so both good. The HCG had doubled, over doubled in 48 hours. Because of all we've been through with infertility and loss, I, it's so hard for me to switch off my overthinking and worrying mind. And I have been trying my best to just take it as it is. It is good news. The numbers are doubling and they say that's all that matters. The fact that the numbers are quite low does worry me. But I'm honestly trying to keep that, push that fear aside and just focus on this beautiful miracle. It's been a long time coming. Our last positive pregnancy test was four years ago next month. And when we got that positive We'd already been trying for two and a half years, so it's just felt like it's never going to happen. But there is hope, and that's so amazing. Here we go, little miracle. You can do this. Sorry, I th I've just realized this whole video, I think I've been looking over to my left. It's because I have put... I've put the sign I made for Instagram over next to my bed and I've just been looking over at it as I've been speaking a bright little light really is oh, here are the pregnancy tests uh, which one was today this was today's our next blood test is until next Wednesday as someone who's had six miscarriages I know that Seeing a positive pregnancy test doesn't guarantee you a baby. It's hard for me to feel total joy without that fear. Of course, I'm so overjoyed that our embryo has stuck. I just hope we get to hold them and meet them in eight months. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Thank you. I have so many messages on Instagram, which I hope I will be able to respond to all of them over the next week or so. We have just felt your love from all over the world. Your prayers are so appreciated more than you know. So thank you for all of your hearts. Love you all. Speak to you soon. Bye. I can't breathe. But it feels like you're the one who saves me.